Hello, welcome to today's class with Mathemasoft, and this is foundation class to help all students that may be struggling with foundation in mathematics. I indulge you to go through our videos that I have dropped on expression, equation, and like things before you proceed to this class so that you can have a deeper knowledge of what I'm about to share in today's class. My name is Mr. Legend and I'm here to help you, to assist you and to walk you through foundation in mathematics up to the level of your WIAC examination, your GCE, your NECO, your JAMB or your A level. In today's class, we'll be discussing about linear equation and this is just uh, a little uh, higher level above the last class that we had. In this question, we have uh, a requirement for us to find the value of x in the uh, two equations given. Find the uh, value of x in the equations below. Find the value find the value of x in the equations below. This is the first equation and this is the second equation. Now, when you see equation, the first thing in your mind is that you want to be sure if you have like things in the equation. If you have like things, the first thing is that what? You have to group them together. Don't forget what I said in the last class. Mangoes must be grouped with mangoes. Oranges should be grouped with oranges so that you can have a clear insight about what next that you have to do. So in this first uh, equation, it is in our culture to write after the question that we are about to put the solution down, just for us to uh, do things in order and decently. So you have the solution here. Now, by observing this, I have a term in, set in x, and I also have a term in x. Don't forget, anytime you have equal sign, what makes us to call this an equation is that we have an equal sign. So the equal sign, don't forget, I've actually explained this in the course of explaining the difference between an expression and an equation. That when you see an equation, okay, creating two sides in a question. This is a side, this is another side. This equal sign is the one that is standing in between. Is the one separating them into two. This is one side. This is one side. The meaning is that this side is equal to this side. And why is this called a linear equation? The word linear means parallel, straight. Okay? It means it is parallel, it is straight. And in mathematics, when we say linear equation, it is because of the power of the variable of the unknown or variable that we have in an expression or an equation. In this case, what is the power of x that you may not see? It is 1 because x is 1 in this case. So we have what? Power of x as what? 1. The variable we have here is x and it means that what? The power of x here is actually 1. You know, it's just like saying 2 raised to power 1. 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2. So if you also have x raised to power 1, it's just all equals to what? x. So anytime you look through an expression or an equation as we have here, and you see that the unknown there has what? A maximum power of 1. Then that kind of equation is linear. And that is why we call this linear equation. Having said that, now we can go back to grouping them according to their terms. 7x is here and we have 2x here. Now, one thing is that always have an insight to ensure that everything that has to do with your unknown that you are looking for are being arranged to the left-hand side. If I must label this, I will call this side the right-hand side and this side is the left-hand side. Let me give you the reason for that. In most cases, when you get your answer, you can say x is equal to 2. 
you hardly see it being written as what well, 2 equals to x. It is not that in advanced mathematics that maybe this is not correct, but usually, like I always tell you, to be in order to work decently, to say x equals to 2 is much more better in order. Not that 2 equals to x is wrong, but it is in order to say x equals to 2. So in other words, everything that has to do with unknown, let us move them to left hand side. And ordinary numbers, which are these constants, like 9, like 1, like 5, let them go to the right hand side, being grouped with their own family, and the unknown also being grouped with his own family. So when you look at this, 7x is already on the left hand side. So it is only 2x that is on the right hand side. And because every terms of x that are well, the terms of the unknown, it is good that they should come to the left hand side. So we should look at bringing these two x to this side. Don't forget, in the class I mentioned that when you want to remove a term, you use the opposite sign of that term to remove it. For example, if you want to remove plus 2, you can use minus 2 to remove it. Because here, the sign is actually different and none of them is bigger. So no sign will be in the result. And because they are different, I will say 2 minus 2, it will result to 0. Meaning that plus 2 minus 2 will cancel out each other. So whenever you do this, you should be sure that what the term will be cancelled out. So I want to cancel out these two x so that it will not be on the right hand side again and it will go to the left hand side. And don't forget, this two here has an invisible plus here. So this is actually plus two x that I'm saying here. For me to remove plus two x, I need minus two x. So because we have equal sign, whatever you do to the right hand side must be done to the left hand side. I repeat. Whatever you do to the right hand side must be done to the left hand side. Since I want to remove this 2x and I will put minus 2x here to remove this plus 2x, I must also put that minus 2x on this side. So that as I'm doing to the right hand side, I'm also doing to the left hand side. Since this is plus, I will use subtraction to remove it. Plus is here, I will say subtract 2x from both sides don't forget this is just grammar both means two sides so let's rewrite it and do what we have written we have several x minus one here i've written this side i want to subtract two x there i will put subtract two x equals this side also two x plus nine i will also subtract 2x from that side. So in other words, here, 2x minus these 2x have already cancelled out each other. They will result to 0. And then here, I'm going to be having 7x. If I bring this one to it, which is its family, so that they will shift to each other, minus 2x. And what is left here is minus 1 equals 9. Now that I have this being simplified to this version, there is one more thing for me to do. 1 is here, minus 1 is here, and its family is here. Don't forget, all number move to the right hand side. Why what? All the unknown, they are grouped to the left hand side. I have succeeded in doing this. So the unknown has come to the left hand side, is no more on the right hand side. So I know that 7x minus 2x will give me 5x. Then I have minus 1 equals 9. Then I will do plus 1 to this side, then plus 1 to this side, in order to remove this minus 1. So I will have 5x minus 1 plus 1 equals 9x plus 1. I am adding 1 to both sides so that this plus 1 can cancel out this minus 1. And that's what will happen now. Minus 1 plus 1 will become 0. And what I will have left here, what I will have left here will be 5x equals 
9 plus 1, that will give me 10. Now that you have reached this place, you are yet to get the value of x. I've told you before that whenever you do not see any sign separating a number and an unknown, just know that what? The sign in between them is multiplication. If it is addition, they will write it. If it is subtraction, they will write it. If it is division, you will see it as division or you see it as this slash. But if it is not written at all, you should know that what? It is what? Multiplication that is there. So I'm going to treat this as multiplication. So it means 5 times x is what is here equals to 10. And if I'm using minus to remove plus, if I'm using plus to remove minus, definitely the opposite sign of multiplication is division. So I'm going to use division to remove this 5 so that this x can remain alone because I need that x to stand alone on the left hand side. So I will say divide both sides by 5. So that will give me 5 times x over 5 equals 10 divided by 5. 5 will cancel 5. Then this will remain only x equals to 10 divided by 5 equals to 2. And then we have come to the value of our x. Our x is equal to 2. So, this is how to go about solving the linear equation. Now, the number 2 that I have here, we are going to do it together. I hope you have taken sight of this. So, I can clean this now so that we can give solution to number 2. And in number two, in solving number two, I'm going to be much more matured since you have gone through number one. So the solution to this now. I have three X and I have minus X here. So I want to remove this minus X so that all X can be on the left hand side. And these four so that all the number can be on the right hand side. So I will first say three X. Let me repeat it plus 4 equals 2 minus x. So because this is minus x, I will use plus x to remove it. And I will also use plus x here to remove it. So I will say 3x plus 4 plus x equals 2 minus x plus x. This will become 0. And then 3x plus x. 3x plus x will give me 4x. What remain as a number here? plus 4, I hope you can see that, equals ordinary 2. Now, I want 4x to remain here, so that 4 can go and meet its family, which is 2 here. It will go and make it meet its lifetime on the other side. So, if I have plus 4 here, I can only use minus 4 to remove it, and I will do the same thing on the other side, so that it will be balanced. So, I have 4x plus 4 minus 4 equals 2 minus 4. Then, my plus 4 cancel minus 4. I'm going to have 4x equals 2 minus 4. Don't forget, this means plus 2. Okay, but the plus is invisible there. So, plus is carrying 2. Minus is carrying 4. Minus is the one that is bigger. So, I will say the result will be minus. And because it is different sign, you need to go and check the video where I explain this so that you can have a good insight. If you have not checked that video, please just check the link in the comment section. I'm going to drop it. So because they are of different sign, I'm going to subtract them. 4 minus 2 will give me 2. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So the remaining thing is for me to remove this 4 from this x. And because it is multiplication that is joining it with this x, I will use division. I will say I divide both sides by, let me write it, divide both sides by 4 and divide both sides by 4. Meaning I'm going to have 4x divided by 4 equals minus 2 divided by 4. And my answer will remain x, 4 cancel 4, x equals minus 2 over 4. Because these 2 and these 4, they have something common. 
two can go here and two can go in four so two in two will give me one two in four will give me two so i have to take it to the lowest value okay i have to take it to the lowest value so minus two over four equals minus one over two so my x is equals to minus one over two if you do find this uh, video helpful i need you to please kindly share out this video so that more people can get to see this video and we can also help them get it right when it comes to foundation knowledge in mathematics if you also want to test out your skill and your understanding of this class check the comment section below i'm going to drop a link for your assessment my name is mr legend and i'm here to always help you to get it right when it comes to foundation in mathematics i do wish you all the best in mathematics bye for now